Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So I keep getting downloads, right? But um, true story, I had to have a uh, funeral, right? Now I'm not trying to trigger you, right? Now stay, stay with me, stay with me, right? Let's stay focused. Now I didn't have to have an actual literal funeral, right? Not in terms of casket, burial, all of those types of things. Except it was it was mentally, it was internally. Because um, if you've seen a, a few of my videos a few weeks back, doesn't matter if you did, doesn't matter if you didn't. Um, but I was going through a major tower moment. It was like a couple of days, like I, I don't know, maybe it was like three days worth where I just kept spiraling and spiraling and spiraling. And honestly, I didn't even catch myself until I was almost to the bottom of that spiral. And that's when I recognized like, holy crap, I'm spiraling, right? I was going down, 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 right? But at, at the very bottom of that spiral, I found myself looking at myself, right? Now follow along because in that moment, I saw my former self and it does invoke a feeling of sorrow even as I speak on it and it's okay to feel sad. It's okay. That doesn't mean that you're not be that doesn't mean that you're not beyond it. It means that you're emotional, that you are alive, you are awake, you are aware and that is completely fine. You don't have to suppress your emotions in order to uh, appear as though you are well beyond it. If you're beyond something, you're beyond it, right? But anyway, um, so I saw my former self as I was curled up in the fetal position in, in this physical reality and I was sobbing uncontrollably. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what was happening. But then I heard, let her go. Let her go. And again, I feel very emotionally connected because it's very hard to let go of our former selves. That's the only person in being that we have been connected to, especially when we have been um, raised through trauma and toxicity and, and harsh programming. Now, that's not to say that there are no good times, right? Anytime I mention our programming or toxicity or trauma, that is not to imply that there are no good times. There have been no rainbows or daffodils because there have been. However, when we're in healing, we're focusing on the things that need to be healed, right? So with that aside, I had to let go of the Marissa that was constantly in the state of fight, in the state of flight, in the state of uh, depression, anxiety, all of these different things. The, the Marissa who had protected me for so long, who was a part of my, my youth, my childhood, all of those things. And I had to say goodbye to her. Now, it's not like you know, well, just like when you have an actual funeral for someone, you're able to visit them in, in, in spirit and in mind and in heart, but you do not embody them. You don't have that physicality with you anymore, right? That doesn't mean that you, you release all emotional connection. Obviously not, but you have, you allow yourself ideally to move forward. So that way you can embrace your new blessings and your new abundance, but you take that spirit along with you. I hope I'm making sense to you. But anyway, the focus on this is we have to be able to bury the person that we were, the person that allowed us to become the people that we are today. We can no longer tie ourselves and tether ourselves to what and whom we used to be because we've spent so much time with them. It's time to let go of the endless yesterdays with peace, love, grace, gratitude, all of these things. And yes, it will be painful. Yes, it will be hard. Yes, it will be sad. All of those things, but the longer you hang on to it, the more you're going to struggle, the more often you're going to find yourself continuously spiraling down to the depths of the depths because your higher self is calling you and pulling on you. Meanwhile, you're trying to hold on to your former self. 
So there is a disconnect and you're being spread too thin and you're not able to move forward. Your past is asking you to let go and your future is telling you <laughs> so much promise is to come if only you allow yourself to grieve and release. That's it.